Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and welcome. We have a lot of work to do, don't we? Hopefully next year we'll be smiling a lot more. Um, I think this, these questions go to the investment officers, and if not, if you could redirect, I'd appreciate it. Um, as fiduciaries of our Pennsylvania retirement systems, do you receive complete daily and monthly trading reports from all hired broker dealers, including timestamps so our pension fiduciaries, meaning you, gentlemen, can properly do your jobs of protecting our pension members? Yeah, it, de it depends on the asset class. If, if, if we have a separate account with the manager, we will have daily full look-through transparency into it. If we're invested in a commingled fund, uh, we have transparency into our transactions into and out of that fund, but not necessarily into the underlying tra transactions of the fund itself. And then if it's private equity or private real estate, we get notification when they're purchasing items because they'll have capital calls to us so we know what, what they're buying. Or if they're selling things, they'll have distributions to us. We'll get those notices, but not necessarily. Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily time stamped daily. Uh, so they're not they're not they are not time stamped. Correct. Okay. Thank you, uh, sir. We have a, a similar type of oversight program that uh, we do a look through at all of our assets. Uh, it's very in depth by strategy, so that we can see uh, the risk to the portfolio. A comprehensive overview of that. We do not have time stamped uh, information though. Uh, for non-separate account managers, where we're a commingled investor. One of the things that I think the industry has benefited from has been technology and um, identifying when to market and when, when to buy and when to sell. But I think it also has enabled some firms to perhaps um, violate some trading rules. And with that, some firms have been created to catch those firms that are violating the trading rules. So the following questions that I have really are related to whether or not um, you have hired as a consultant any forensic uh, trade review firms to monitor those situations. And I think by telling me that you aren't getting date stamp reports, time date stamp reports, the answer probably is going to be no, but I'd like to hear that and get that on the record. Uh, Representative uh, Tom Breyer again from SIRS. Uh, we do have a firm uh, called Able Noser that monitors our portfolios for best execution of our trades. So we routinely monitor that we get the best effective ex execution on our portfolio. Yeah, and, and for, for us, we use a firm called Zeno that looks at the uh, transactions uh, that are made in, in the uh, equity portfolios. Can you tell me how many documented trade through violations there have been on those reports? I don't recall any off the top of my head. Okay. It doesn't mean there wasn't, but I don't recall any. All right. Um, are you aware that material money uncovered through forensic analysis are fully recoverable through state um, through, for the state through demand letters and the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority through their arbitration process? I, I believe, yeah, yes, I believe there is the, uh, you do have that opportunity if there's anything fraudulent going on to obviously recover on those types of trades. Okay, it, it's, uh, I'm sorry if you wanted to answer that as well. Just that it would be a breach of fiduciary duty by our manager and cause for termination if we did identify a situation where they didn't get best ex execution on our behalf. So uh, we could look into that. And Do you think it would be wise to verify that? And the reason I ask, between 2008 and 2013, these are just documented, these are just documented um, errors. There were $20 billion of national best bid, best offer, documented trade, stock trade through violations. So those are the ones that were just caught. So I think that as we move forward and start reviewing um, how we're going to model our plans in the future, I think it would be good that um, our two retirement systems perhaps look at some companies that have this technology to catch these. And Mr. Chairman, if I could just maybe take a minute, or probably less than a minute, to just read this. Um, I was advised that we know, f they know for 100% certainty that our fund has experienced material harm. 
and that pension fiduciaries are unaware of the size of the problem, and, and I think that may be clear, and how significantly our members have been, let's use the term, ripped off. It's an issue that affects our members' retirement and one that can be solved, I think, by taking a look at some of this new technology. The SEC has stated that 7.5% of all stock shares have best execution violations, and that's, that's at 2.3 cents per share. If the amount of shares traded on behalf of our funds, and we assume that those are probably in the multi-millions of dollars, multi-millions in a number of shares, were multiplied by 7.5%, and then that was multiplied by 0.023 cents, the sum of that money, I would assume, um, would be significant that we could recover. I don't know that this would necessarily solve our problem and is a silver bullet, but my understanding in, in talking to firms that do this work, that it would make a significant dent in our problem, and, and I would encourage all of you to, to look at the firms that, that do this type of work. Thank you.